All right, I'm back with Bill. I don't speculate O'Reilly. We're going to Dusty for phone calls. And all you lawyers out there, spare me. Yes, I know that E. Jean Carroll uh, can cure anything that is testified to by her witnesses because she was crossed. I know. That's why everything that came in wasn't dismissed as hearsay. But let's hear what you have to say to me and to Bill. What do you have, Dusty? We have Howard from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Howard, what do you got? How you doing, Chris, Bill? How you guys doing tonight? I hope well. Good, uh, good. What do you got? Okay. Uh, here's my question. Uh, it's being advertised, and we're hearing that Trump is planning to sit out on a couple of the primary debates. Now, obviously, it's going to be bad for ratings if he does that, but how could this possibly be advantageous for him? Yeah. Excellent question, Howard. Excellent question from Howard. Uh, Trump is smart. So if he's got this big lead in the polls come August, why bother going to a debate when everybody's going to gang up on him? Why? I wouldn't. Would you if you were ahead by 20 points? And then in the next debate, sponsored by Politico, no friend of Donald Trump, and Fred Ryan, the publisher of the Washington Post, Trump goes, wait a minute, they're all hostile. I'm not going to do it. However, he will change his mind if the polls tighten. But there is a very big possibility that won't be any meaningful debates on either side because Biden's not going to debate anybody. He's mm -hmm. not going to show up for a debate. That's not happening. And even if Trump gets the nomination or DeSantis and they want to debate Biden, I don't think Biden's going to do it because he's not equipped to do it. I don't agree that the president's not equipped to debate. I think he's hurting himself and allowing guys like Bill to make this argument because he hides too much. Um, and it's becoming a self-fulfilling prophecy. Well, why uh, is he hiding I then? In, um, I don't why know. Why is he hiding? Uh, I, think it's a, I think it's a bad strategy. You don't strategy. know. I think they're trying to limit his exposure. Well, just because I don't know the reason doesn't mean you're right that he's a doddering idiot. You know what I mean? He should come out and do interviews. It doesn't mean I'm wrong. He should come I'm on wrong. He should do it more things. Well, but you just said I'm right wrong. Either. He could not be coming okay. on TV for various reasons. It doesn't mean that he's incompetent. My other point is this. Sure. I believe in more debate, not less. Uh, I think there should be more debate, not less. And if you really believe in what you should, uh, are saying, you should come out and you should argue about it. Next. Um, John from Las Vegas, Nevada. Hey, John. How's it going out in Vegas? Hey, what do you got well, for the big man? I really miss you, and I'm fr I really wanted to ask you this question. You're familiar with the Emperor's Clothes, aren't you? I, that's yes. That famous story. Okay. Now we got Joe Biden. Obviously, they asked him what what a third grader asked him what country he was at last. He couldn't come up with the answer. That was three days mm -hmm. ago. The American public doesn't deserve to be treated like morons. Anybody with an IQ over 70 knows that he's really senile, which, you know, a lot of people, he's completely, and he's not in charge. <laughs> we, anybody would know that. I mean, it's not a knock on him. John, he's just not confident. John, they, yes, how can they, of course, you, why, you're knocking him, John. Would, you're knocking him. Come on. No, let me, let me jump him. in, John. Go yeah, ahead. you're knocking him. When you say he's senile, you're knocking him. Okay. But you shouldn't say that because we don't know if he's senile. All right. What we do know is he's hiding. He's hiding. And there is a reason he is hiding. Look, I'm not hiding from Cuomo. Cuomo's not hiding from me. He was on my program, the No Spin News, in his pajamas on Monday. <laughs> and you can see that on the no, <laughs> on BillOReilly.com. You did that interview in your pajamas. That could not have well, been a legitimate my pajamas. shirt. My pajamas have footies, and those pants did not have footies. All right. What's next? It gets cold where I live. Um, look, I, I do think that Biden's opening himself up to these attacks. You know, we used to say you don't talk about presidents that way, but those rules are out of the uh, out, out of existence. He needs to come out and make his witness or he's going to get more and more uh, of this. And he is old uh, and he's going to have to he should be doing more to prove that he's not what everybody's saying he is. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com. And you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.